Yada da. Boy. Yuck Mouth TV, man. Subscribe to your motherfucking guy, man. We back in the building one more time. You did. You know, niggas been asking me to go live for the whole fucking weekend, man. So, here's a little recap of my show I did with uh, Yo Gotti, Yella Beezy, The Breakfast Club this weekend. You know what I mean? Shit was lit. You know what I mean? I'm gonna let the nation and the committee get up in here before I do my dialogue. You know what I mean? Get this roll call going. You know what I mean? Get this roll call going, you know what I mean? Detroit in the building, okay. Vegas in the motherfucking building on the roll call on the tap in, okay. Yeah, let's get this tap in going in. Before I go in, my nigga, okay. Tuskegee, this motherfucker, man. Kansas City in this bitch, man, okay. San Diego, Atlanta in this motherfucker, okay. Florida in this bitch, okay. We tapping in, nigga, tapping in. Frisco, KC Mo in this motherfucker. Okay, the 313 in this bitch. Union City, man. Yeah, yeah, area. Fresno in this motherfucker. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cricket, Texas popping it. Okay. Sacramento, Compton in this motherfucker. Okay. We lit. We lit. The committee got in this motherfucker quick, mate. <laughs> you dig? ATL in this motherfucker, mate. Milwaukee in this bitch, mate. St. Louis in this motherfucker. Houston, mate. Sacramento, Sacramento. Okay. Glendale, AZ in this bitch. Okay. Detroit. What up, though? Uh-huh. Tacoma, my niggas. Okay. South Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina. Uh-huh. Virgin Islands in this motherfucker. That's a new one. Dallas, Texas. Fort Wayne in this motherfucker. Minneapolis in this motherfucker. Huh? Cleveland. Regime life in this motherfucker. Huh? Bad style. Do a die. What's that, nigga? It's lit in this bitch, man. Okay, man. We, that, let's go, man. Flint in this motherfucker, man. Anaheim, everybody in this bitch, mate. Salute to the nation, the committee tapping in, man. I appreciate y'all subscribing and fucking with the kid. No Frank Ocean, you dig? Oh shit, you're up in this motherfucker late tap in, okay? That's what's happening, my nigga. Anyway, man, I had a dope show this weekend. You know what I mean? Loonies with uh, Yo Gotti, Yellow Beezy. Hosted by the Breakfast Club. It was hella other people too, man. But we was in San Antonio, Texas, man. That motherfucker was hot in a bitch. Hot as shit out there. I don't know how y'all Texans do the Texans do that shit, bro. It was 109 degrees, my nigga. <laughs> Long Beach on the late tap in. I see you, nigga. Yada da. Uh-huh. Miami and this motherfucker on the late tap in. I see you. But goddamn, 109, nigga, in humid weather. Ouch. Alley. You know what I mean? But anyway, it was a dope turnout, nigga. It was lit in the motherfucker, man. Uh, we did our motherfucker one, too, man. We killed that bitch. They made Yellow Beezy go before us. You know what I mean? He murdered it, man. This nigga got nothing but hits. I ain't know that nigga sung all them hits, man. That's on me, baby. That's on me, baby. I ain't know he sung that. That's on me, baby. I'm the title at home. That's on me, baby. That nigga sung that. I'm like, ooh, we gotta go behind that. <laughs> Nigga, we got up there and killed it, nigga, right? So we say the condom man for the last song, because it was too hot to have a condom nigga out there in that outfit for 30 minutes, nigga. He would have died, nigga, being on that motherfucker hot ass outfit for 30 minutes. So we're like, all right, we do five on it, we gonna bring him out. So we jump off the stage to go get the nigga dressed. Angela Yee and them backstage, nigga, they filming the shit out the condom man. They laugh like a motherfucker. We getting the mascot dressed. We the only nigga with a mascot, nigga. Got a motherfucking full-blown mascot in this bitch, right? <laughs> Envy all the motherfuckers filming, laughing and shit. So we rush back on stage, man. Get the condom man. The condom man killed it. Nigga was like, ah! Did five on that nigga. Killed that motherfucker, man. Woke that game up. Had the whole motherfucking stadium, whatever it was. Nigga burning it down. Nigga, the block party, nigga. For real, it was lit, my nigga. Period. Um, We're backstage after we got done. Yo, God, he went on, so that's when we was chopping it up with uh, Envy and shit, man. Envy, man, he act like he really, you know, didn't want to talk to niggas. That man had his head down, nigga, like he was, like, on detention or something, nigga, in school, nigga, like this. I'm like, man, fly, man, go holler at the niggas, oh, fly. What's up, Envy? What's up, man? I got these gift bags for you, man. I got the medicated salt. Then fly, wake the nigga up, get the nigga to laugh at this shit. And you're like, yeah, I got one for you. Your motherfuckers are taking pictures and shit, break the ice, you know what I mean? So... 
After that, it was cool and shit, you know what I mean? Niggas get to taking pictures, flicking up and shit. But everybody keep asking me why I didn't say, hey, man, you don't be having no Cali and no Bay Area niggas on the breakfast. That wasn't my position, my nigga. And I know it ain't their position to say who they want on this motherfucking breakfast club. It's called a PR team. Your PR team, when you're in New York, they set up your interviews, you know what I mean? So it's on your PR team to get you to the breakfast club, get you to, you know what I mean, sway in the morning, get you to uh the motherfucking, uh, who, who else out there? You know what I mean? Fucking, uh, uh, it's my nigga name that used to DJ for uh, G Unit. But he don't shave 05. You know what I mean? To get you to these different outlets, it's on your PR team, not on the Breakfast Club to say, hey, I want this guy and that guy. So I know the protocol. So that's why I didn't even come at him like that. Like, yeah, nigga, you know you need to have us Bay Area niggas on the Breakfast Club. Like, nigga, how your PR? <laughs> that's what he was going to say. Nigga, how your PR? Get y'all out there, nigga, and do what y'all do properly. The proper protocol. You can't be like, nigga, come get me up there. In that case, I can have every one of my friends that I know, all my best friends that rap. Niggas ain't nobody. Up and coming niggas. All my best friends, all my niggas up and coming. I can have them every day. If I had the choice to bring motherfuckers on the radio, if I want to. They don't know it's a protocol, nigga. That's a motherfucking clear channel. You know what I mean? Radio One or iHeartRadio, whatever it may be. iHeartRadio, that's a big ass company, bro. They call the shots. It come from up top and they work, period. They don't call the shot. So I didn't even come at that nigga like that because I know he don't call the shot. He would have said, nigga, hey, <laughs> have your PR, talk to who they need to talk to and we see if we get you up in there, period. You know? So... Rest in peace to Bushwick, my nigga. DJ Who Kid, yeah, Who Kid. Yeah, they get you up to Who Kid, you do your PR run, they get you over to uh, the motherfucking thisis50.com, motherfucking uh, Jack Thriller, you know what I mean? Who else is out there you could go fuck with in New York? But it's on your PR. When you land in New York to get you in these motherfucking outlets, these media outlets, and do your PR run. It ain't on the Breakfast Club. It ain't on MV to say, hey, I want Yuck Mouth to come. Nah, nigga. <laughs> it ain't that easy, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, niggas on my helmet. Hey, nigga, da, da, da. it don't work like that, my nigga. You know? But yeah, man. Um, talk one more thing about the uh, the Yo Gotti show, man. Uh, so we got we went from backstage and shit to uh, inside the crowd, man, because uh, police was like right outside our room. We didn't know the real mm -hmm. rules of smoking out there in Texas. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So we dipped and mingled into the crowd so we could burn and camouflage ourselves. We looking at Yo Gotti get down, as you can see on my IG. We, Turning up and shit, right? We way in the back, though. We way in the back. They, you know, Gotti got the shit popping in the front. Hella crowded. Too crowded. You know what I mean? We in the back. Fuck that. It be all, be all elbowed and mosh pit up, nigga. Like, it's too many motherfuckers shoulder to shoulder. We ain't getting in that. So we in the back playing it cool. Next thing you know, man, we looking on the screen, man. You just see a nigga get football tackled off the stage. La -la, blah! I don't know what nigga try to hop on stage. <laughs> It's the wrong nigga to hop on stage with, man. Some motherfucker trying to jump on stage, get turned up like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah! It's just nigga got tapped. <laughs> man, that nigga yo got even buzzed, my nigga. That nigga was like this, man. He looked at the nigga like, yeah, whatever. That nigga security came. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That nigga did a dive, you get. That you get. <laughs> Boy, tackled the shit out that nigga off stage, but <laughs> that nigga had some dreads, knocked every dread out that nigga head. <laughs> the impact fucked that boy up. <laughs> tackled the shit out that boy like them tackle dummies. Fuck that boy up, my nigga. Fans, overzealous fans, man. Never jump your ass on stage, period. Especially with a nigga that got over three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar worth of jewelry on, man, you might get shot. Period, man. Don't you ever do that again, artist? Don't you hop up there and these niggas got four, five hundred thousand dollar worth of jewelry? They think you're trying to rob them. You will get shot. Period. You lucky you just got tackled and punched on and stumped on and slid on your motherfucking uh slid on your blind dreadlocks. Nigga, nigga slid the nigga on his blind dreadlocks. Ha ha ha. Yeah yeah yeah. Ba ba ba. Slide. Ba ba ba. Slide. Slip the nigga back in the crowd, bro. Can't be jumping on stage, my nigga. Period. I that you get all types of street fighter shit on his ass. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. What's the bitch on Street Fighter? Got hella kicks. <laughs> Chung Lee. They Chung Lee the shit out that nigga after that time. <laughs> 
It got 80 kicks. <laughs> Slide. <laughs> Chung lead the shit out that nigga, boy. <laughs> They got tackled, they got Chun-Li. <laughs> Fuck that boy up with a thousand kicks <laughs> to the back. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Woke his game up. That nigga never jumped on stage again. <laughs> Woo, shit. Fuck that boy up. <laughs> oh, man, I'm talking about the Yo Gotti show, man. We just did the show this weekend, man. The black party, man. Somebody tried to hop on stage by Yo Gotti was performing. Nigga, the security wasn't having it. Nigga tackled the shit out the nigga and stumped the shit out of him and slid him back into the crowd. <laughs> so the niggas did the Chung Lee on the nigga. Slide. <laughs> Fuck that boy up. Woke his shit up. <laughs> Never do it again. I cool. I cool. Nigga, never jump on stage again, nigga. Nigga got slid. Lawrence Taylor, the nigga. Then Chung Lee, the nigga. <laughs> Lawrence Taylor tackled the nigga. And Chung Lee, the nigga. <laughs> Stop it, slap. I cool. What's popping, though? <laughs> he said, not the juice. <laughs> Said not the juice. I remember. Besides that, it was a great show. Hella hot. Hot as fuck. They only had one dressing room for niggas to share. You know what I mean? We had to rotate. It's a lot of shit going on out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it was cool, man. It was dope as shit, man. I tell you one thing, man. We came and took that motherfucker over, my nigga. I swear we had the whole staff working with us, nigga. What? Shout out to all my Mexican homies out there in San Antonio that work at the club and the barbecue spot. Nigga, they was, we wanted to smoke, nigga. They was taking us through all types of undercut, nigga. We was going through the motherfucking restaurant, the kitchen, nigga, back caves, nigga. We going through all types of shit to a cut the way we could smoke, nigga. Bring the whole staff back there to smoke with us. The cook, nigga, the security, nigga, the waitress, everybody was back there turning up with us. Nigga. We took the club over, nigga. We ain't paid for one drink. Nigga, they laid out the red carpet for us. Nigga, like, where you need to go? They was holding our shit, everything, holding all our... We had to take the condom man, put him in a big-ass bag, our, our, our fucking uh, mascot. They holding the mascot and the cup for us. They holding all our shit. We got you. We love you guys. Like, nigga, man, they, man, Mexican showed us hella love out there, man. Shout out my essays out there, motherfucking San Antonio, man. They held us down, nigga. We had it all way. They bringing us all types of liquor and shit, food, barbecues. We could smoke, nigga. Taking us to the cut to burn it down, nigga. Keeping us away from the police. Because it was the police on feet through that whole event. Police was walking. It was hell in the motherfuckers, too. They kept on getting it. I'm like, yeah. Shout out my Mexican brothers out there. They held us down. Mm -hmm. They held us the fuck down, man. My Mexican brothers and sisters, they held a nigga down from the, the bartender. The bartender, he was giving us free drinks all night. Yo, you, your money no good with me. Your money no good with me. You know what I mean? Free drinks all night. Put your shit behind the bar. Big ass duffel bag. If you see the bag that this kind of man come in, it's hella big. Tall them there, taller the wall, nigga. That motherfucker back is back with the bar, nigga. Period. Yo, with the loonies, we got them here. Period. They held us down, nigga. Salute to them. We was at the hotel, nigga. The hotel held us down. We had burning the motherfucking swim pool, all that shit down, nigga. Man, they held us down, nigga. They could have called. You want some smoke? Nowhere on that premises, nigga. Period. We burning this shit down, nigga. They just wanted autographs. We signed the autographs for the uh, the hotel girl that was, uh, the lady that was working at the desk for all her kids, took pictures and shit. We had it our way after that, nigga. We were smoking everywhere outside, though. You ain't some smoke, smoke nowhere by that hotel, nigga. We all in the pool area, nigga, burning it down, cabana style, nigga. We, <laughs> nigga had it all way, nigga. Period, nigga. San Antonio show, niggas. A lot of love, man. Salute to y'all, man. Definitely cool atmosphere. We were supposed to go to the after party with uh, DJ Envy uh, 
fucking DJ that, man. But we are so cool where we is at. We have so much love in the plug. We like, we stand here, my nigga. I want to stay where the love at, man. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Dun, 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 dun. And the dirty is just the same. We wanted to go where everybody know our name, nigga. In that club, by the time we were done performing, smoking this shit, nigga, everybody knew our name and they was fucking with it. So we cool, baby. I cool. We stay right the fuck where we is at, nigga. We could smoke, nigga, get free alcohol, nigga. We ain't got to do nothing. You did. Know? Where everybody knows your name. Fuck that. We right there with a the love at, nigga. I ain't about to pull up to the after party where I got to pay some money, money for liquor, for a bottle, for a table. Nigga, fuck all of that, nigga. I'm in the VIP room, nigga. Period, nigga. The, the ultimate, nigga. Couches, nigga. All types of shit, nigga. Drinking all night. What I'm going. The fuck am I trying to get to? I'm cool. I'm cool where I'm at, nigga. Mm -hmm. uh, you know? But uh, shout out San Antonio, man. Shout out the Black Party, man. Shout out the DJ, man. Uh, man, a female DJ, man. Uh, Brandy, man. Shout out Brandy, man. She held us down, man. Female DJ, man. Definitely held us down, man. Shout out to DJ Brandy, man. She definitely held us down, man. Had that shit lit, man. Shout out motherfucking Q, Q made the beat for them edits, my nigga. Love you, bro, bro. You dig? Shout out Q made the beat, my nigga. Teamwork make the dream work. You dig? Mm hmm. He said, Yo, yo, it's a London team. <laughs> St. Louis on a late tap in, London on a late tap in. I see y'all niggas. I see y'all niggas. Not even by nature will perform tomorrow. Okay, that's what's up. Mm hmm. That's my nigga Trek. Mm hmm. Yep, tribute to Bushwick Bill. Man, rest in peace, man, to, to, to the big homie, man. I I'm still, like, don't believe it. I'm still kind of shocked and taking the shit in, man, because the you never seen it. You know what I mean? Bushwick Bill, he, he didn't look ill. He was healthy looking. You know what I mean? You never knew that he had cancer. You know what I mean? Period. Not like in his last days. We never knew. You know what I mean? I never knew. You know, um, he was supposed to have a tour with the Ghetto Boys. They canceled the tour, you know, so he could go into his chemo treatment. And, um... You know, he's up to, he's with God now. He's in a better place. You know, um, I'm going to tell, I'm going to break it down on Smoke A Lot Radio this week, man. You know, the real dialogue about the big homie Bushwick, man. But while I'm on my live right now, I just want to say rest in peace to a king, to a, a boss, to a, um, a dude I looked up to. You know what I mean? When I was rapping, like, between N.W.A., the Ghetto Boys, Scarface, Ice Cube. Cool G rap. That made me want to rap. D.O.C. That shit made me want to rap. Period. And Bushwick was a part of that. You know what I mean? So he was always legendary in my neighborhood, you know, which is the Ville. You know what I mean? Um, rap a lot signed an artist from our neighborhood. You know what I mean? The big homie, Seagram, rest in peace. So just rap a lot signed and an artist from our neighborhood, we was rap a lot the fuck out. That's where you get smoke a lot and drink a lot because mm -hmm. we had crews in our mm -hmm. neighborhood. You know what I mean? Mm. I was a smoke a lot crew. Mm. We had niggas that just drink all day, called the drink a lot crew. You know what I mean? But that's where it started because our whole neighborhood was fucking rap a lot, nigga. Period. Just because Seagram was signed. You know what I mean? A nigga from the Ville was signed to rap a lot. The whole Ville from 69 to 65th would rap a lot. Period. So Bushwick Bill, Gangsta Nip, <clears throat> uh, shit, uh, the Convicts. I'm talking about the early stages of rap a lot. The Convicts. When uh Big Mike and uh and uh, uh three two was a group, um Big Mike when he was solo before he became a ghetto boy, you know the ghetto boy Scarface the whole shit. So you know what I mean that that was our life, nigga. Rap a lot. Bushwick Bill was the the illest nigga to us, nigga. From mind playing tricks, nigga. This year Halloween fell on the weekend. Me ain't got the boys took at three ten. Robbing little kids for box. Man, we love that nigga because in the field, we sig, man. Like, yeah, sig committee. So niggas would be joking, but it was the illest shit to us, though. Like, that nigga ill, bro. <laughs> nigga voice. He the illest nigga ever. Like, he made, no disrespect to, to people that's that's little, but he made midgets cool, my nigga. Besides, before it was the motherfucking Austin Powers 
It was a ghetto boys, nigga. Bushwick Bill made the midgets acceptable to me because before then, nobody was like rocking with midgets like that. You probably seen a midget on, uh, uh, what that shit was called, man? Penitentiary. You seen a midget, that nigga was like, ah! That nigga was flying all around the motherfucking cell and shit. Ah! Even that nigga wasn't cool. Bushwick made midgets cool, my nigga, period. Then you get the motherfucking Austin Powers with the little midget sidekick and all that. But midget, I mean, Bushwick made midget being cool. Nobody looked at midget sideways after Bushwick came out and did his thing, period. It was normal, you know what I mean? So, from him just bringing that swag to the table, him being an intellectual, smart-ass dude, um, I learned so much from him. You know what I mean? Um, we toured together. We was on the same record label together. And he was out here fucking with us in LA at my studio and shit a few times. Got great stories with that dude, man. Great stories with that dude. Music. Did a shitload of music together. Yeah, I'm gonna wear my rap a lot chain, man, when I do my thing. On Smoke A Lot Radio. Guys, salute, salute the big, the big homie, man. Bushwick Bill, man. Big rest in peace to Bushwick Bill, man. Definitely, man. Everybody put them up prayer emojis up for Bushwick Bill, man. Mm. We have a moment mm. of silence. You know what I mean? Mm. Can't do it with this goddamn shit ring. Let's do a five seconds for Bushwick Bill, man. Put them prayer hands up for Bushwick, man. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest in peace to Bushwick, my nigga. Definitely, man. Salute to the Don, the legendary, you know what I mean? Come from, Whew. boy, y'all about to make me break down on this motherfucker, man. So, um, some prayers to his, condolences to his family, his children. I met his kids. I met his, his girlfriend. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's going to be hard, you know what I mean? Period. You know, pray for, for the ghetto boy, Scarface, uh, fucking... Willie D, you know, Jay Prince, you know, these guys is that really knew this guy personally, like really, really like that's their brother, you know what I mean? Or, yeah, pray for them, you know what I mean? Because I know they going through it, you know? Definitely, man. Big loss for rap a lot, man. Big loss for rap a lot, you know? Yeah, man, it's like, at the end of the day, man, there's so many rappers dying, my nigga. Like, whether it's from health reasons, whether it's from street reasons, whether it's from overdose or whatever. It's just like, God damn, man. Like, it's just, man, I see rock and roll, heavy metal motherfuckers living to like 90 and shit. They've been doing head run and all types of unsafe sex and all types of shit, man. These motherfuckers still alive. No disrespect to them. But what is it about the motherfucking rappers that just keep on just dying, 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 dying? Like I say, it's a blood sport. It's the most dangerous sport. But we dying from diseases. We dying from fucking overdoses. Like we dying from other shit that ain't got nothing to do with the street element and all the other, you know, strip shit that go down in the street. It's other shit that's knocking us down. You know what I mean? Hatred, all types of shit, man. Like. It's just a gang of bullshit going down with rap, man. This, this just, I just want to say this to the fans, man. Appreciate this music. Appreciate the people who make the music. Because when the shit go, man, and it's just other people rapping and not show color, the people who you really appreciate rapping because they scared. They can't do a concert without almost getting robbed or getting shot at. They scared because every time they do some music, somebody commits suicide to their music. They scared because, you know what I mean, the, the, they neighborhood don't accept them no more because they think they changed. Oh, whatever it may be, just know that y'all fucking up the rap game. Y'all making it hard for rappers, man. Niggas got beef up security, bulletproof shit, all this shit to do music. Nobody else got to do this, man. No movie stars got to do this shit. No comedians got to bulletproof shit up. It's only rappers. No fucking... Athletes, it's rappers. We got like we in motherfucking Iraq at war right now. Why is rap so dangerous? Period. So at the end of the day, man, we gotta um 
If we like rap music so much, man, appreciate it. That's all I'm saying, man. You got motherfuckers like, oh, you old ass head, you old head. Then when a nigga dies, it's like, oh, man, rest in peace. I, I bet y'all was calling Bushwick and them old and washed up or something. Some slick motherfucker probably was saying that. Now that he passed, rest in peace. Oh, man, I love this music. I did this. Don't wait to your favorite artist die to show them love, man. Don't do that, bro. Appreciate motherfuckers right now. Give them flowers right now. Appreciate the music that you appreciate and show them like, yo, thank you for that music. It got me through some hard times, my nigga. I don't know what you were thinking when you wrote that shit, but that got me through my prison term, my nigga. I don't know what you was thinking when you wrote that shit, but when I smoked some Sherm, I felt like that, my nigga, and I never smoked Sherm again. I don't know what you was thinking when you wrote that shit, but I felt suicidal sometimes. I mean, there's so many different scenarios that came from a fucking Ghetto Boy song or a Scarface song or a Bushwick Bill song. Period. So many scenarios where a motherfucker, oh my God, you gave me knowledge of self and whoop, whoop, whoop. Like so many scenarios. You could go, oh man, the, how the police did. The police is crooked. Oh my God, I got to watch my... It's so many scenarios that people could say, thanks for the game. Thanks for helping me get through life, man. That music saved my life, my nigga. Period. It's music that saved my life, nigga. Period. That made me want to become a rapper. And it was these dudes that saved my life. I could still be out there in the streets doing stupid shit. You know what I mean? Thanks to rappers like the Ghetto Boys with Bushwick Bill. You know what I mean? Motherfucking N.W.A. and, and fucking Ice Cube. You know what I mean? Them was the groups that made me want to do my shit. Along with Cool G Rap. You know what I mean? Period. But them was the motherfuckers that made me like, I want to write a rap. Because it's relate to the shit I talk, talk about or the shit I'm going through. You know what I mean? The shit I'm going through in my neighborhood, they talking about it. I ain't know you could rap about that. It was a time when people were rapping about conscious shit. You know what I mean? Africa, I'm being, you know what I mean? Just pro-black, you know what I mean? All types of real conscious things, which is not a problem. But when the gangster shit came, it related to me because doing all this conscious rap, we selling a shitload of dope in Oakland. You know what I mean? We selling a shitload of dope. We, we rocking all these big ass donkey ropes and shit looking like Slick Rick. Oh, oh geez, not me. They rocking all these big ass donkey ropes. They driving all these luxury cars, nigga, Rolls Royces, Benzes, Ferraris, Porsches, you know. It's not conscious. It's not conscious where I'm at. Now, you'll have a nigga wearing an African medallion, and you'll have people that, you know, of course, we got the Panthers out there. We got the FOI, Fruit of Islam out there, all of that. But I'm talking about my neighborhood. Wasn't positive like that. Not at all. So when they came out, I related to that. And I'm like, oh, we could talk about the shit that go down in my neighborhood and still put it out as rap. That's when I'm like, oh, sign me up. Because this is what I go through. This I want to talk about this. I can't talk about no conscious books that I never read. I can't talk about no conscious things if it's not going down positive in my neighborhood, man. The only positive shit that was going down in my neighborhood was the Black Panthers. They had the free lunch program, you know what I mean? Um, and, and the D-Boys, who was looking out for the families who couldn't pay their fucking rent and, and was struggling, period. That's the people who looked out. The only positive. Other than that, it was niggas killing each other, shooting each other, stabbing each other, fighting each other. Niggas selling dope, selling hair runs, selling crack, anything. Nothing related to that. None of the music related to that but N.W.A. and the Ghetto Boys, period. So they made me want to rap because they made reality rap popular, period. And shout out to Schooly D, all the people who really made it, who really started the shit. I'm talking about who made it popular to me, you know? So... If it wasn't no Ghetto Boys, if it wasn't no uh, N.W.A., I wouldn't be rapping. Facts. You know? That's a piece of Bushwick Bill, my nigga. Period. Public Enemy. Public Enemy 2. That was, I nigga, I love Public Enemy. I love KRS-1. When I'm talking about the niggas that was talking to me about this street shit was Coogee Rap, Ice Cube, N.W.A., Scarface, Ghetto Boys, Bushwick Bill, Willie D., Period. Them was the dudes. Facts. That's all I'm saying. You know? He said, you're killing the vibe, bro. Too much Sharif. Nigga, you told me to break down the motherfucking Bushwick Bill. Nigga, it ain't too much Sharif. Nigga, I'm giving this a shout out to my nigga, bro. Period. And shout out to the motherfuckers that made me want to rap, my nigga. Period. Rest in peace to legendary Bushwick Bill. If you don't want to hear about that, get the fuck off the thing right now, bro. You disrespecting, my nigga. I'm giving it up for my nigga, bro. You talking about too much Sharif. Nigga, what? Boy, man, get off my page, my nigga. Period. Get the fuck off my page, bro. 
If you don't appreciate me shouting my motherfucking homie that just passed, get the fuck off my page now, nigga. The fuck you over here for, boy? Period, nigga. Come on, my nigga. Now, we're getting to some other dialogue, but let me get, get my grievance off to my homie, nigga. Period, nigga. I could be on this motherfucker for two hours talking about Bushwick, bruh, if I wanted to. Get your ass little, bruh. Period, man. Don't come on my page with the bullshit. Oh, you too much Sharif. I ain't talking no Sharif. I'm talking about the Bushwick and the ghetto boys. Stories about my neighborhood. Stories about me, nigga. You you bored? Then go, nigga. Period. Fuck that. Nigga, I'm signed to rap a lot, nigga. My nigga Seagram, nigga, from the Ville, signed to rap a lot. We lived at rap a lot shit before I even went to rap a lot, nigga. My whole neighborhood was rap a lot. Nigga, period. Nobody can say that about their neighborhood, nigga. You made a crew called Smoke a Lot, and these niggas smoking all the weed. You got a crew called Drink a Lot in your neighborhood. Nigga, we live in this rap a lot shit, nigga. That's boring? Man, you tripping, bro. Get your ass off my page, man. Get little. And this is the first time I ever talk shit to one of my peoples, man. Because I don't do shit like other people argue with the fans or argue with the, you know, the committee or whatever. But that's bullshit, bro. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. You know, don't do me like that, bro. We all grieving. Everybody asked me, like, talk about Bushwick. I wanted to say for Smoke A Lot Radio. I'm still going to talk about it on Smoke A Lot Radio, but God damn, bro. Come on, man. Don't don't disrespect the dad like that, bro. Period. Now I said my one, two. Um, prayers for, uh, for Jab Zuda. You know what I mean? Um, I think he uh, got TKO this weekend. Um, I think he had um, bleeding in his brain or something like that. You know what I mean? So they said he's recovering. He's good in the hospital. You know what I mean? He's straight. He's recovering. So, man, prayers for that. You know what I mean? Jab. God damn, Zab Judah. Prayers for Zab Judah, man. Period. I never knew how to say that nigga name. My bad, bro. But prayers for that man, man. Period. You know? Definitely. Now let's get to some fuck shit. Khaled. What the fuck is up with you, bro? Why Khaled mad at this nigga uh, Tyler the Creator, man? Khaled up there doing some little... High school kitty shit. I ain't never heard yo shit on the radio. He basically said he ain't never heard this shit on the radio. A niggas driving down the street playing this shit. Some mysterious. He called this shit. I ain't never heard somebody just mysterious shit, man. Khaled, man, all them positive shits you be doing in the motherfucking flower garden and shit. <laughs> all the positive vibes on the jet skis and shit. That shit helped the win. <laughs> Sticking back in the drop bay back talking this shit, baby. He mad as shit at Tyler Cre Cre <laughs> ah! He hella mad Tyler took the number one spot, baby. That nigga heated, buddy. They cussing out the staff and shit at the record label. <laughs> what the fuck going on? It's a no-brainer, Khaled. I thought you, I thought you had it. It was a no-brainer, my nigga. <laughs> it was a no-brainer. Not this one, my nigga. Nigga said DJ Salad. I'm done. <laughs> DJ Salad. Man, the fans didn't feel like it was a no-brainer this time, man. They rocking with Tyler, bruh. They say he got a better album, my nigga. You dig? It is what it is, man. You got to think. When motherfuckers got a core fan base, my nigga, Tyler, the creator, has a core fan base. Like Tech 9 nigga. No matter what Tech 9 drop, nigga, they showing up and showing out, nigga. No matter what Tyler, the creator, drop, his crew drop... Nigga, everybody that's linked to him drop, they showing up and showing out, bruh. That's called a cult. You got a cult following, my nigga. <coughs> Khaled, I don't think you got a cult following, period. Now, you got dope albums, no disrespect, but you don't have a cult following that tapped in with you. You know what I mean? Now, you do your positive speeches and shit, whatever. That's great, but a cult following is... Nigga, motherfuckers that live and breathe nothing but you. They dress like you, act like you, talk like you. One of, nigga, they your number one fan, nigga, period. And they rocking with you, nigga, right or wrong. Nigga, you can drop a whack album. They still buying it, nigga. Period. Right or wrong, nigga. They fucking with you, period. So at the end of the day, my nigga, when you got a cold fan base, you can't compete with that. This nigga just out. This nigga just sold out the uh, uh, Madison, Madison Square Garden. A Cali nigga, LA nigga, sold out the... Nigga, Madison Square Garden. Sold them out. That's a cold following, my nigga. You sold out the garden from Cali on some mysterious shit? 
Like the nigga Cali say, oh, mysterious shit. Nigga. I ain't mysterious, nigga, to sell out the garden, nigga. You got to be a boy. You got to be a boy, nigga. That nigga Tyler, the creator, sold out the garden, nigga. He about to do a show, nigga, out there in New York. Sold it out. No tickets available, bro. Um, nigga said Coke following. <laughs> a Coke, nigga. C-U-L-T. Nigga said Coke following. I'm done. Y'all niggas ain't cool, man. <laughs> Committee in the building early. Nigga said coke following. Blood ain't cool, bro. <laughs> yeah, Cali bitter than a motherfucker, man. He said, uh, yuck, filthy, see him at Fabby uh, collab. Yeah, I'd be dope. Mm hmm. I said, Texas was dope and hot than a motherfucker, man. Oh, yeah, nigga. Man, insane clown posse? What? Nigga, they fan base. Nigga, they have a cult following. You'll never hear insane cl nigga clown posse on the radio. Pop up at one of them shows, nigga. 60,000, 50,000 strong, nigga. With painted faces, all types of shit, nigga. Word for word, nigga. They don't even got to rap. They can point the mic at the crowd. They go, da, ba, la, la, ha, ba, da, ba, da. The, 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 nigga, they don't even got to rap. That's a cult following, nigga. You just do this. And everybody say your shit word for word and my spitting and shit. And, oh, man, listen. Insane clown posse? Shit, the juggle, you said it, the juggalos. That's Tech Nine, nigga. Tech Nine and, and the insane nigga, the juggalos ain't fucking around, nigga. Nigga, they dress like zombies, nigga, paint they face, nigga, but they cool as shit. Period. They cool as shit and they with the shit, they'll fuck you up. Nigga, juggalos, they throw shit at you on stage. I never knew that was the shit. Nigga, Method Man, I think Method, no, Method Man and Red went up there. I think Red, I mean, man, nigga, Method Man and Red got the biggest, the best performance in life. Nigga, they hit the nigga Method Man in the head with a can. Blah! The Method Man stopped the show, was ready to jump in the crowd. He didn't know that they throw shit on the stage. I ain't know neither, my nigga. I went, we did one juggalo shit with Tech 9 man. And, and they start throwing shit at us. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, nigga, we bombing or something, nigga? I'm like, hold on, my nigga. What the fuck going on? So they threw a big ass motherfucking uh two liter on stage at a nigga. They didn't bust. Threw that motherfucker right back. Bah! Hit a nigga in the head, bro. Start throwing the motherfucking. That's how they do it. They just be throwing shit at each other, man. Put the motherfucking uh the fives up at the juggalos don't just be tossing shit in the air at each other, my nigga. They be fucking each other up, bro, right? So I'm like, nigga, we threw a five on, they threw a big ass. Nigga, two lead out of nigga. We bombed. Nigga, I went off stage like, fuck, they don't like us. Nigga, tech got on stage. They throw a hell of shit at tech. I said, oh, that's how they do it. They just throw shit. I said, I ain't know. Nigga, tech was the, the headliner. Nigga, they throw a hell of shit at tech. Taking them, kicking shit off stage, throwing it back. I'm like, oh, that's how they do it. I ain't know. Nigga, I was offended. Nigga, don't be throwing shit on stage. I mean, boo, where I'm from, nigga, that's how they get down. Like, yeah. <laughs> I ain't know. <laughs> I ain't know. Nigga, I was hella heated. Boy, they threw a two lead up there. I threw that motherfucker back fast. Blah! I hit a nigga. That nigga threw it at somebody. Hit that nigga. They just throwing it at each other. This shit threw it way in the back. Blah! I hit another nigga. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this juggalo shit is crazy. They just like to throw shit. So, uh, same, the same Method Man show. Not the, uh, the same Method Man show. Tequila, tequila hopped up there. They threw fireworks at that. <laughs> That bitch was getting hit with barrel bombs and shit. Ba, ba, bra, ba, ba, ow, ba, ba, ow, ba, 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 ow, ba, 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 ba. Man, that bitch was throwing bottle rockets at that bitch. Tila <laughs> Keela had hella burn marks all on her skin when she got it. Fuck with them juggalos. These juggalos ain't fuck with y'all niggas, boy. Throw a bottle rocket at y'all. Boom, boom, ba, 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 ow, ba, ba, ow. <laughs> nigga, what? Yeah, leave them pay face niggas alone. <laughs> they fuck you up, son. <laughs> nigga. Boy, you playing dodgeball up there from all the shit that's flying up there like shit. <laughs> shit. Dumba dumba do shit. Dumba dumba do shit. Whoa, that was close. Dumba dumba do. Shit. Dumba dumba do. Yeah, your matrix going on, nigga. Dumba 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 Yummy, yummy, yummy. Nigga, they throw a hell of shit at your ass, boy. <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm flying, my nigga. That's they shit, boy. They get to throwing shit at each other, man. I ain't know. 
I ain't know till they threw that two liter on stage. Like, blah, they threw a two liter at us, nigga. I'm throwing that shit back. Fuck that. Blah, blue. Fuck the nigga up. He threw it and threw it at another nigga in the back. He didn't throw it back at us. I'm like, oh, that's how they do it. They just throw shit. I'm like, okay, my nigga. <laughs> nigga said jumping jacks. <laughs> uh huh. They said, what about Esham? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. A lot of niggas got uh got real motherfucker cult following. You dig? So Khaled, man, I think if you were a rapper instead of a DJ, you probably have a cult following. But DJs got cult followings, man. The motherfuckers that be overseas, man, and the motherfucker with the Mickey Mouse head and all that, nigga, they got following, nigga. The motherfuckers making money, money. millionaires, nigga. Mm-hmm. You know, nigga, uh, they say Esham, boy, shit. Let's talk about, uh, want to go there, and then, boy, let's talk about the DJ, my dude. Mm hmm. Kick a pre code following as a DJ, probably do. Probably do. Whenever you could book something in Vegas, man, when they book you in for a year in Vegas, the DJ, nigga, you got a co following, period. You know? Straight up, man. But shout out to both of them, brother. They both, I think Tyler album is way better, but uh, they both got cool albums, period. They both got cool albums, definitely. They both got cool albums. It's enough money for everybody, my nigga. You win some, you lose some, man. <laughs> Bro came number two in Mad. Like, you still sold a shitload of albums, my nigga. Appreciate, you know, your fan base and people who fuck with you. Co-following, hieroglyphics. Cult following, nigga. You will not hear no hieroglyphic on the radio today. But go to their show, nigga, the whole city there. You better believe it, nigga. Facts, nigga. Yeah, big cult following, nigga. Hieroglyphics, perfect. Nigga, Wu-Tang. Nigga. Like, yeah, talk to nigga. You want to talk that shit, nigga. Bathroom break. This one, y'all go roll up. Y'all go get, get something to drink. You know what I mean? I'll be right back, my friend. <laughs> Jumping on stage. Yeah, da, da. back. Yeah, I just wanted to tap in though, right quick. Tell y'all about the weekend, man. What do you say? Chronic intermission. Yeah, roll up. Y'all supposed to roll up all the shit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, man, we cool. DJ Fresh got fired. Yeah, man. Fresh is the nigga, man. Period. Fresh is dope. <laughs> yeah, that nigga's crazy, man. Crazy. Quick question, man. Is it over for the Warriors, man? We just got spanked, my nigga. I'm sorry, man. We just got spanked again, but it's three to one, my nigga. Is it is it the death of the dynasty? Is it a rap? Is the death of a dynasty, man? Yeah or nay, man. Is the death of a motherfucking dynasty, man. I'm sorry, my nigga. It, uh, Durant better bring his ass back tonight. Oh, it's a wrap, my nigga. And then, even if he come back, he ain't been playing like that. That nigga, he got to, you know what I mean? Loosen up. It's going to take him a couple quarters to loosen up. By that time, nigga, we could be down 20, nigga. Period. I don't know, man. If anybody could do it, I think the Warriors could do it just because... The only people who ever did it was the Cleveland Cavaliers when they did it against the Warriors. I think the Warriors is dope enough to do it. You know what I mean? I think the Warriors is dope enough to do three in a row. And they got to do it. They got to bring all they niggas out, man. Everybody better. <laughs> fuck that, nigga. Everybody. If you injured, nigga, you better play through that injury, nigga. <laughs> I blame the... uh. Blame this shit on Steve Kerr, man, because at the end of the day, nigga, Durant should have been playing since the first motherfucking game. I don't know why he been sitting down so long. And this nigga able to walk out into the motherfucking uh, the tunnel and dap everybody up and talk shit to Drake. Hey, see you in the Bay Area? Yeah, yeah, then what? 
What you gonna do? My nigga, get out and play, nigga. Jersey up, nigga. Period. Put the warm up on, nigga. Then put the real jersey on. Get your ass out there, bruh. Period. They say he blamed Curry wife. Hey, they is saying that's the distraction, man. Like, why do this? Why this nigga fight for his life, man? Why all that stuff? Hey, well, I need attention. Yeah, that was a motherfucker banana in the tailpipe, man. That shit shouldn't even came out right now. Fuck that red talk, red table talk, whatever the fuck. She should have sat her ass down <laughs> until the playoffs is over, man. Fear, then talk your shit. Mm hmm. I agree. He said, Royal fan really knocked down Cypress. Damn. Oh, yeah, for real. Big time. Yeah, he thought he going to be right there, definitely. Who my favorite player on the Warriors? I got to go with uh, Durant. The Durantula, man. Period. The Durantula is my favorite player. You know, Steve Curry, everybody going to go with uh, Steph Curry. Everybody going to go with the Splash Brothers. I fuck with Durant. Durant the ultimate, man. They can't stop that man's shot. And man, defense is crazy. Yeah, when he out there, it's a whole different ballpark. It's a whole different level, man. Period. The Durantula. Definitely my favorite player on the Warriors. Period. And then my other, my runner-up is definitely Green, because he the, he the motherfucking balls of the Warriors. No Frank Ocean, but he the heart and soul, nigga. Without that nigga, they ain't tough. Period. He the toughest nigga on the team. He talking shit. He bully motherfuckers. He talking shit. Period. So Green, definitely, man. Green and motherfucking Durant. They're my two niggas. Period. They're my boys. Everybody else is dope. No disrespect, but they're my boy. Nigga, Green is the heart, and motherfucking Durant is the soul. I ended on that. Here it is. Facts. And everybody else's ligaments. Steph Curry went on. Clay went on. Motherfucking uh, Iggy a leg. The other nigga a leg. But the heart and soul of the motherfucking team, them two niggas to me. Facts. The Durantula. Facts, my nigga. <sighs> Mm hmm. It's gonna be Kawhi versus uh, KD. KD gonna lock that nigga down. That nigga ain't getting them shots off like that with that long ass man. That nigga is wingspan. That nigga, man, that nigga, hella the long ass hands. That's why he is the Durantula. Niggas, he said, man, and he's shooting open them hands is hella long, bruh. You ain't touching that, my nigga. Pfft, good luck. This nigga shooting over niggas like it's nothing, my nigga. Good luck trying to block that shot. And then he blocking nigga. Blah! Good luck trying to shoot a, a motherfucking chair. What them shit? A floater? Yeah! Nigga snatching floaters out the air, nigga. Tall ass wingspan. Yeah! Fuck out of here, bruh. Period. But if anybody can do it, it's Warriors. And we gonna see the motherfucking night, man. So on that note, I'm about to get off this motherfucker. You dig, man? Rest in peace to the big homie Bush McBill, man. Shout out motherfucking Breakfast Club. Yo, got it. Yellow Beezy, man. We did it big. Shout out my partner in crime. Motherfucking cuz of motherfucking fly. Shout out goddamn uh, Wiley G. You know what I mean? The kind of man make teamwork, make the motherfucking dream work. Yeah, dig. And uh, shout out KZ Management, nigga. That keep these motherfucking shows coming. Yeah, dig. Yuck Mouth TV, subscribe to your guy. Don't cost a dime. The motherfucking subscribe and hit the notification bell. You dig? Support me, because I support y'all, and I rock with y'all, man. And the person I talked to earlier, no disrespect, my G, but I had to let you know, man. Don't do that shit when we talking about Bushwick Bill, man. And he just passed, man. Now, maybe, you know what I mean, four, five months later, you know what I mean, when it died down, I go on a whole spill about it. Then you can say that. But my dude just died. Let me have that, all right? Condolences to Bushwick Bill, his family, all the homies that rap a lot. We all going through it, nigga. Period. Respect that, all right?